All right, Reed, it is cold out there. I, well, I say cold. You were talking about going to Florida. I would rather have the warmer weather, but this year's thunder is nothing compared to what you've experienced before. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Yeah, we, one, the worst thunder I had normally this morning, it'd be down on Thunder Hill as people are coming to, to set up and get ready for thunder over Louisville. One year, it sleeted. I was down there and people were putting up these tents and everything. It was miserable. I was down there and my videographer was Wade Harris and some of, somebody in one of the tents had a little gas heater in there and Wade went in there and I said, Wade, come on out of there, man. <laughs> I don't want to do that. It was wild. It was cold and miserable. Okay. Another part of Thunder Course is the Thunder Air Show. We're going to talk this morning each hour about some of the aircraft. Oh, look at that big, beautiful thing. Oh, beautiful sight. That's the C-17 Globemaster. It is the most flexible aircraft to enter the airlift force. This baby is a pickup truck and more. It, it is a rapid strategic delivery of troops and types of cargo to main operating bases or directly to forward bases in a deployment area. They, when, when, when you have to have a worldwide reach, you have to have an aircraft like this. And it was produced between 91 and 2015, cruises at 670 miles an hour. That's a pretty good Mach number. It carries 170,000 pounds, and they can land that thing in 3,500 feet if they have to. Golly, it's, it's just a beautiful aircraft to see, and when it comes to town, they're just always beautiful out at SDF. Okay, the P-51, here's one. When you see this in the air show, this might <clears throat> give a lump in your throat. This is the P-51 Red Tail. This is a tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen. Their P-51s had the red tail on them. There were 15,000 P-51s built. This is a kick-butt airplane. There's no way around it. The Tuskegee Airmen, of course, broke the race barrier. They had to fight a military that said, no, African Americans can't fly. These guys simply wanted to fly and do their part for their country. They did it, and they did it with honor, and they did it with pride, and they were great pilots. And there's one of their aircraft. When you see that one today, that's a proud moment in the show. The C-30H, another helicopter, it's a military version of, uh, of a civilian aircraft. It's set apart by the, the tail rotor's not open. That's a fence drawn on the tail rotor. Makes it quieter and a little more safer, but the, the civilian version of that would have to do, would, would be an A-star, some derivative thereof. Okay, then there's gonna be a P-51 Swamp Fox. That's another, it's a beautiful aircraft. That's another P-51, and it's a tribute aircraft to a, a pilot from South Carolina from World War II. Just some of the beautiful aircraft you're gonna see in, uh, in Thunder this year. That P-51 can climb up to 42,000 feet and do 440 miles an hour. When you saw a P-51 coming, it just it's gonna be a bad day if you're on the wrong side of it. That's all I can say. Okay, more aircraft next hour. Hey, thank you, Reed. I always love hearing about the Tuskegee Airmen. They're yes. like some of my biggest heroes. So hey, Indeed. thank you for all that insight. Right.